Oh, who do we got in here? Oh, who's that? Oh, oh. Is that Coda puppy? That's a Coda puppy, huh? What do you think, Coda? Should we go get a new snowblower? Go see what we can find? If we can find the one we like, maybe we will, huh? Um, neutral. Take this thing out of four. And we are instantly in two-wheel drive. So that is nice. Alrighty, so we are gonna go down to Princeton Rental here, a local Toro dealer. I'm gonna see what they got for two-stage snow blowers. We may or may not buy one. For those of you that don't know, we're gonna be getting some snow on Tuesday. Looks like quite a bit. I, I don't know what they're saying right now. Probably could see around eight inches here, maybe more. And it is gonna be wet and heavy. So uh, we have two Toro Power Clear snow blowers that do not like wet, heavy snow. They're really pretty much useless over four to six inches when it comes to wet stuff. So uh, we got a couple driveways that we do that are really long and uh, we gotta snow blow them because they are windy and curvy, too tight to plow with a truck. So not to mention, we also do a shopping mall and a bunch of other sidewalks. So um, I don't like to shovel that wet, nasty snow. So if we can snow blow it, we're gonna snow blow it. So we're gonna run over to Princeton Rental here and see what they got. What do we got for gas up there? like uh, 309 quick trip over here Let's see we're going under 169 this marathon's usually cheaper oh what do we got over there 299 dang gas is coming back down that's really nice to see really really nice to see all right here we go Nice dozers there, loader. Look at that real old one up there. She's a gem. All right, we're gonna pull up to Princeton Rental here. And I'm gonna run in there quick and see what they got. Kind of a bigger purchase so this is a this is a 30 this one is a what a 28 those ones over there are 24s hand warmer hand warmer no hand warmer No Toro sales, Bob. What's that? No Toro sales going on. Get some people freaking out about the snow. Um, no, most convenience sales. They both have snow removal equipment. They look for something smaller. Look at that pretty girl. Oh, who's a pretty girl? Well, guys, we just ran in here. Found some pretty nice snow blowers. Gotta be honest, I'm really digging what I'm seeing. Uh, pretty pricey, but honestly, the snow blower will definitely pay for itself. So I'm not worried about that. We're gonna run over to uh, Marv's real quick. The hardware store here and i'm just gonna see what i can see they deal i believe husqvarna over there so we're gonna go check those out real quick and i'll be right with you guys got a nice here right down the road what 
do you think, Coda? Should we go with an uh, Husqvarna or a Toro? Not sure what to think, huh? You sure do look good, though. Looking good today on this fine Saturday, huh? Oh, with Dad, still not sure what to think of the truck. Pulling in here. Been here quite a few times. You guys have probably seen this on other videos. Just run in quick here. Well, guys, we just got out of Marv's, uh, the local hardware store, and they had a few simplicity snow blowers in there, which were priced around a couple thousand dollars. And then they had Husqvarna's, and the Husqvarna's uh, did not look like they were built as well, nearly as well as the Toros. And I, I am a little bit biased. I love my Toros. We've had very few issues with them. They're just tried and true. And like I said, the Husqvarna's just didn't look like they were built quite as well. We're gonna get heading back home. I'm gonna discuss buying a Toro snowblower with my wife just because we both need to make financial decisions. She's very good, very understanding, you know, and this is a business investment. So we're gonna make the decision together. So we'll talk about it and uh, hopefully next time you see me, we'll be buying a snowblower. Do it, Coda. Come on, come on, Coda, you can do it. Come on, come on, you can do it. Oh no, you can't. Oh, you can do it. Come on. Oh, all right. Oh, there you go. You did it. Good job. Good job. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hey, 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 Coda. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's a good girl. <laughs> that's a good girl. Good girl, you gotta go potty? Go potty. Oh, who's a good girl? That's a good girl. Come on, Coda, let's go. Good girl. Well guys, it is 9.44 on Sunday morning here. Just got out of Princeton Rental here, heading back home. We purchased a brand spanking new 28 inch, two stage Toro snowblower. Couldn't be more stoked on this one. Really excited, it looks really heavy duty. Better than pretty much all the other snowblowers I looked at yesterday, so. Had a really good time out shopping with the pup uh, yesterday and I uh, took a night to discuss it with the wife and we came to the conclusion that this was the best option. But just wanted to mention in this video, it's super important to create good relationships with your local dealers. Uh, make sure they know who you are. Even if you're just starting in business, go in, introduce yourself, buy a little something from them and uh, keep going back be that loyal customer and they will take very good care of you i rent stuff from them all the time always bring it back in excellent shape sometimes even better than what i got it in so they really do trust me that's why it's important to build those relationships and then every once in a while uh, they'll cut me some slack on on equipment too so it's super nice to develop those relationships and it is a must in the lawn and landscaping industry so get out there support your local dealers and uh, we're gonna get out of the truck here when we get home and I'll show this new snowblower to you well here she is so it is the power max 828 OAE this is about a $1,600 snowblower at least that's what I paid for it. Come up into the bed here. This, uh, got a really nice remote throw on it, so that's sweet. 
Got a headlight, which I'm looking forward to using right there. Everything is super nicely set up on this. Oil dipstick right there. Throttle. This is your gas on off. Choke. And then this is basically your kill switch right here. And your primer bulb. And then it, it comes preset for hand warmers. I can get a hand warmer kit for this thing. Your throttle. That's kind of nice. Probably will put hand warmers on this one eventually. So if I ever were to get out of the snow industry here, um, this is a snowblower that I would likely keep for my personal residence here. So that was kind of nice. That was kind of a deciding factor. This would be a perfect snowblower for here in town. No shear pins needed, huh? Toro's bolts are not designed to shear. I did not know that. Anti-clogging system. Toro's been in the snow industry for a long time, guys. So that's really, really why I ended up going with them. Here's your pick, too, if you got to unclog this. And really aggressive tires. I like that. I really like too. I'm pretty sure you can drive these one handed. And it has electric start. You can plug this in, get it started. That won't help me much out in the field, being that I'm commercial and going to be using this away from electrical outlets. So that won't really work, but it'll definitely uh, be nice for around here. So that's really, really an added bonus. So this here is my Toro 721 Power Clear uh, rubber paddle, single stage. These things work awesome. This one is, we have a two seasons old now, and uh, I'm gonna be letting this one go. If we need to, we'll replace it later on down the road. But I do have um, another 721 right here. So we'll end up keeping that one. That one's only one season old. I kind of like to replace my smaller equipment every couple of years just to keep it fresh. And not that you can't just keep replacing parts in them, but I feel like it's just better for a couple hundred dollar loss to sell them off and keep cycling through them. So we'll see. We'll see if uh, we can get rid of that one, but if not, I may end up keeping it too, but I'm gonna probably list it for sale. So if you are in the Minnesota area, you wanna save yourself a few hundred dollars on a Toro Power Clear. It is the 721. Other one, uh, it's the 821. That's the more commercial version. So uh, this one is more geared toward resi, but they were great for commercial snow. So that'll do it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm back home with the puppies now. And uh, we're going to get inside here for the day. So God bless. We'll see you guys on the next one.